nice, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk along the street, yeah. uh, what are you looking for? Uh, I think it, it's different mm. uh, depending on my mood mm. or um, what I've been exposed to recently yeah. like during that time. Uh, usually interesting moments, mm. something that's out of ordinary, mm. that is uh, out of normal. And uh, recently I've been looking for more of a background first mm. instead of uh, a subject. Mm. So I, I look for interesting light, interesting backgrounds, uh, complementary colors, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. I see. Yeah, so yeah, recently it, it's been more background first, and then I wait for things to come in. I see. But Ooh. before it would be like, I'll see a person that's interesting and I'll just go up and take a photo mm. without really considering what's behind. Mm. And I realized that that ends up looking kind of messy for me. Mm. So I, I started looking at backgrounds first. Yeah. I see. Cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm not sure if that answers the question. <laughs> Do you have any philosophy for your photography? Uh, that's a hard question. <laughs> not really. Uh. I think it's more... It's just me documenting what I see. When I'm shooting at home mm. back in Hong Kong, I think I have more of a message mm. that I want to... Uh, show the rest of the world or even people living in Hong Kong. Mm. I want them to see what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and uh, Yeah, I think the message is stronger when I'm shooting back home mm. But when I'm here in Tokyo, I just want to take nice photos mm. Just good-looking photos that I can look back on later on so there I'm shooting more for myself here. Uh -huh. I guess yeah. I just want to like for my most recent I guess you can call the project. Yeah. I've just been documenting the changes from the, you know, first the protests mm. and then after the protest it was uh, COVID. Yeah. And then all these uh, rules or new government uh, regulations. Mm. And it's been a tough time for the city. Yeah. So I've just been documenting that period and trying to make something out of it. And I guess... Um, even though it's been so hard for the city, I try to capture things that are beautiful, you know, to show people that, you know, it, there's still beauty inside of everything that's happening. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's my message back home. Mm. But in general, if I'm doing street photography, it's just, I just want to capture nice looking scenes of yeah. that place. I yeah. see. Last question. Yeah. What is your goal as a street photographer? Become world famous. Ah, uh, cool. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> There's no goal. I just, uh, yeah, I'm just shooting every day. I try to get as many photos for myself. I think I'm shooting mostly for myself. Um, if I can turn that into maybe a book or, you know, uh, maybe an exhibition sometime, then that would be great. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's work.
to be back soon. Yeah, yeah. So next time we'll do it at night. Right. With the beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> okay, thank you, All everyone. Right. Yeah, see, see you soon. Nice to meet you. Yeah.